about four years ago. I'd broken up with a partner that I had for very many years, and I was on my own. And I was able to you know, stand outside where I was and look in. The gap was that I didn't know how to be in the business of being a business builder. Because I understand that while I am a very good salesperson, I am not a great business person. The idea of having somebody coach you through the hard times in the business and think through what it is to have an inventory of client activity and what it is to build a base of revenue and to think like a business person, it's just not common in our industry. Coaching has brought value to my business because it's solving for questions that I've had for which I've had no answers. What does it take to produce ongoing revenue that creates value today? What do you have to do to have a business that's transferable? Those are the things that I've gotten out of coaching. I like the world that I live in, and I like the free time that I have, and I like the other contributions I make to the industry, and I don't think I'd be as free to make those if I didn't have some sort of structure and design for the rest of my world. We need a structure and design for how to be in the business. That's how you get big. That's how you buy yourself free time. That's how you control your business instead of being controlled by the business. Make sure you're in relationships with people who can add value to your life. That's in the form of the partners that you pick. That's in the form of the businesses that you choose to be in. That's in the form of the people who you let into your head. Who do you hire as a coach? You want to allow people in who are all about your success and about expanding your universe. 